I'm stupid. Or whoever designed these f things are. <laughs> there you go. Hey, real quick, I wanted to film a quick disclaimer. Parts of this video show me walking around a crowded space with a bunch of other people without a mask, getting well within six feet, shaking hands, things like that. Just so you're aware, all of this was filmed pre-COVID. So you can rest easy and I hope you enjoy the show. Remodel Lights, I'm Dave with Remodel Media. For the last 16 years, I've helped people put together kitchens, baths, outdoor kitchens, and various other home renovation projects. It is my mission in life to help people eliminate regret. And I do that by bringing you the latest tips, tricks, and products for your home remodel. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an episode. Welcome back Remodelites, Dave here with Remodel Media. I'm here at the Delta booth in Las Vegas, Nevada at KBiz, the Kitchen and Bath Industry Show 2020. And we're looking at the first wave, the innovation lab of the Delta Faucet Company. So. Uh, Mike, what can you tell us about this? So First Wave was built in an effort to test things small, mm -hmm. get good feedback from working closely with consumers, and when something works, we scale it up over to the Delta side. Nice. So if you saw the glass rinser or the voice faucet, those started here, and now they're okay. scaled large. So this is our next round of things we're exploring. Now you're telling me these are, these are hand washing uh, faucets, right? Yes, these okay. faucets are built for a powder room where the only activity anybody does is wash their hands. Okay. So we've taken away the handles, no germs, easy and convenient. When you come close to the faucet, the capacitance circle over the faucet is open. The water is going to turn on. It's set at a pre-mixed warm temperature. And after you're done washing your hands and you exit the field, the faucet will turn off in two or three seconds. Wait, so it's a proximity no matter what angle you come from. That's right. It's, ca it's capacitance, which is the technology you've got on your phone. And mm -hmm. it's just uh, stepped Dialed up a little up. bit. Exactly. Yeah. Imagine like a soccer ball around the yeah. faucet. So okay. these are two designs, and then this one's actually made via 3D metal printing. So this is a, again, the same execution, but it's stainless steel that's been built layer by layer, which is where you get that wildly thin uh, design with those voids in the middle. Nice. Okay, and what's going on on the other side over here? So the other side, we've got, this is a uh, kitchen faucet that we've taken away the valve. It's digital, it's under the deck. So as Todd's demonstrating there, Tapping the, uh, I'll show you here on the bottom. <coughs> this is how you're going to control the temperature by tapping the bottom of the base. <coughs> so you can see it going from cold to warm to hot. We basically, in removing the handle, tried to simplify the usage, limiting to hot, warm, cold on the temperature, and low, medium, high on the flow. And then this faucet also utilizes Alexa and Google Home where you can use voice commands to get those extended reach of commands you might need at the kitchen. So I could say, Alexa, give me a cup of hot water. That's right. And she'll pour a cup of just hot water. That's exactly right. So in, in looking at people using this faucet, you get through the like 95% of your tasks with hot, warm, cold, high, medium, low, and then that gives you that full extension of meter dispense or again, very precise things. I need, war I need 92 degree water for two cups. Oh, so you can actually specify the, the degrees Fahrenheit. That's right. Yeah, uh, complete that, control. Wow. Well, that that is actually really cool. What will they think of next? Can Alexa cook the food too? Uh, that's next year. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Mike. Thanks, thanks for taking us through. It's a pleasure. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you got some good information out of that episode. Go ahead and click here for more videos. Go ahead and click here to subscribe. And make sure you check out the description below for relevant links to some of the products that we discussed today. And leave your comments and questions down below because I love answering them. As always, I'll see you in the next one.